just briefly enough for me to run to the car. Literally just coming down like hardcore, like scary rain. Like I don't think I'm gonna survive because I'm from California rain. Where's my keys? Taking the Civic. Don't need the GPS mount, which is good, because uh, the Civic has enough room. And now that I have my microphone off to the side, it works perfectly. But where? why is my lighting so bad? <laughs> what if I zoom in a little bit? That's enough weird. Getting weird. Getting weird. What's up, crew? Dang it, I dropped my phone in the crack of the seat again. Just every time when I wear sweats. We're, we're off to a really weird start. <laughs> my jacket makes so much noise. I don't know what's going on in here. Uh, you know what's really weird about right now is I'm about to, I'm, bo I'm filming for tomorrow's upload, but I haven't edited yesterday's upload. And I didn't end yesterday's upload because my camera died at the gym. And I didn't really, I don't know, I got home and I had to edit the day before. I shot another, it's, it's like, I'm all out of order right now. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. I'm gonna shoot this in the car and then I'm gonna shoot something else to end yesterday's vlog. I am headed to Trader Joe's. We're getting some groceries uh, for the week. I'm still doing Organic Kitchen, uh, but I'm just gonna go pick up a few things for snacks, like I mentioned, I have six meals a day. Lately, I've only been eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, and then sort of grazing, if you wanna call it that. Um, haven't been really good at eating the right amount of food. Now, I did provide my macros. If I remember correctly, it's 318 for protein and carb, and then 71 for fat. But I don't know if I'm gonna actually try to hit it 100%. The thing about weight loss is, no matter what you do, as far as change is concerned, if you change how you eat or what you eat, you're gonna see results. Uh, tracking your macros to the T is just one way to accelerate that or make it happen more consistently. All I need to do is ensure that I eat enough food throughout the day. So I'm gonna track the, the macros on life sum, but I'm not gonna be like stressing out at dinner if I'm 20 grams off of my protein or carbs or whatever because that's not healthy in itself. If you put your put too much pressure on yourself to hit exact macros, uh, you're gonna set yourself up for potential stressors, which as you may know, stress is the leading cause of eating. When I'm stressed out, I, I go to the pantry at least 20 times. I'm like, there's gotta be something new in this pantry. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get some chicken, uh, bell peppers, and avocado. That'll be my snack for the week. It'll probably be just the same exact thing every day, just a couple cut up bell peppers, baked chicken, and some avocado. And that'll be protein, carb, and fat. Um, and the macros will be as built out as I possibly can without being too neurotic about it. So that's that. We're gonna hit it in the Trader Joe's in three, two, one. That's too slow. Here. We go. Ba -ba. shopping done my battery light is literally blinking like right here if you could see my screen it's just going bing 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 it's terrible so I'm over by Target though I'm gonna be a super nerd and I'm gonna literally run into there to get two of those mystery Marvel toys and run back and hopefully have enough battery life to open it in the car so Five. 
information needed. Best part about this is uh, the age. It's uh, come on, focus. Ages three and up. Here we go. Box number one. I gotta do this fast because my battery's dying. I'm just gonna tear it open. Leave no prisoners. Ah, uh, my first duplicate. Can you focus? Anyways, crossbones. That's my second crossbones. If anyone out there wants that, uh, shoot me a DM. If there's enough people, I'll, I'll do a little contest, a little giveaway, and you can have crossbones. And, oh, sick, we got Black Widow. That's a new one. Like, I have it on manual focus, and it's not focusing. That's crazy. God, how long did I have to do that for to get some freaking focus in here? What's crazy is the autofocus isn't really working, is it? It's close as like in a crouching stance, which is pretty cool. But anyways, gonna head home. Uh, gonna get my battery that's currently charging since this one's dying. I got a vlog to edit. Uh, I'm gonna give you guys some Mobility Monday. I'm gonna have a motiva motivational talk. Definitely have something specific I wanna share with you guys. And then uh, that'll be today. I don't really know if I'm gonna be doing any fitness or active recovery. It is pouring down rain, which makes life a little bit harder when trying to do that stuff. But I keep saying it, I wanna do something on Sundays and Thursdays, but it's like, when I have that much more time to edit video, I end up pulling all the, all the stops and trying to put a little extra effort into the vlog. And it, it takes a lot more time. So I need to prioritize fitness over editing a vlog because I do want to accomplish those goals. And if I end up getting to the open and not doing well because I edited too many hours of video, then that'd be kind of a bummer. So try to knock this uh, episode number 94 out, out. Maybe do a little tiny fitness. So. Probably wondering why I'm on the couch. I was thinking about Mobility Monday and I thought I'd show you the couch stretch. That this this definitely isn't the couch stretch. This is the couch stretch. You stick your knee down on the couch where you would sit, your shin and foot up the backrest, and you just sort of sit. Like I'm already feeling it. Where you would feel this stretch is up the hip flexor and a little bit down the quad depending on how uh, much tightness you're feeling. To increase the level of stretch or to increase the footprint too, so you might bring it up into the core, is put your arm over your head and reach back. So you'll start to feel it up into your abdomen. Another way to increase the stretch or the intensity here is to, is to move to a wall. The closer your knee is to the wall and the more flat your shin is up against the wall, the more you're going to feel it in that leg. And to set up is, is somewhat easy, to get out is a little bit harder. So if you're on a hard surface, you can take a blanket or a towel, fold it up, put it where your knee, where you plan to put your knee. And if you're on a slidey surface, it's nice because you can put it further and then just slide it backwards. But on like gym mat, uh, you'll have to set it up wherever you plan to put it. The best way to get into this position, I'm gonna scoot you back just a little tiny bit. Best way to get into this position is to face away from the wall. You're gonna go to take a knee, but stick your shin up the wall and start, start with your knee further away from the wall just to test it out. Get your support leg in front and then just start to sit up. Your ideal position is to be able to go shin flat to the wall and touch with your arm against the wall, okay? And of course, your toes are pointed up. You're not putting your, the ball of your foot on the wall. Pretty simple, give it a try. You'll feel it right here. This is huge for hip mobility and getting a nice, open, strong hip. So give it a try, let me know what you think. And uh, I guess we should do a little motivation. Let he who wants to move the world first move himself. 
This is a powerful statement. This is something that you can easily just sit down and think about it. And honestly, before you listen to my interpretation of it, I'd love for you to take at least two to five minutes to just think about that statement. Let he who wants to move the world first move himself. Go ahead and pause this video if you'd like to take a moment and just think about it. This statement hits home for me. I started this YouTube channel to share my content and with a little bit of hope in the back of my mind that it would reach enough people and provide motivation, mobility tips, um, ideas for things in the gym, ideas for things at home. I'm a stay-at-home dad, so maybe a little bit of a little bit of clarity of how that actually works. And even before the YouTube channel, before I started vlogging, like I've always had the YouTube channel, but specifically vlogging and sharing my story, I am that type of person who just wants to help. Um, whenever I see an opportunity to potentially help somebody or help an organization, I am gung-ho, ready to go. I've got ideas, I've got ways that I'd like to pitch in, and maybe, so with that said, like I had a thought in my mind and I had to pause for a second, but uh, for whatever reason, I find myself not able to help. I go to do some help or I, I provide some guidance or I suggest something and it either gets shot down or it just doesn't work out. And you know what? It's this statement. It's, I want to move the world, everybody around me, I want to move them. I want to, I want to provide something. But I haven't moved myself yet. I haven't spent the appropriate amount of time figuring my own self out, figuring out 100% who I am in order to provide that type of help to somebody else. To bring that into one simple interpretation, it is you can't sell something to someone else if you haven't sold it to yourself yet. Being confident in what you believe in is the only way you're going to allow others or bring others into that belief. If you're just selling it because you think it's the right thing, or it's just some reason that you just, you're kind of like, yeah, that sounds like a good reason, then it's not gonna sell. I hope that's a good motivational Monday. Um, at least the statement is good. And if you liked it, let me know. But my interpretation is be confident in what you're trying to sell. If you want to move others and you want to help others, make sure it's something that you yourself believe 100% in. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hit that like button. And if you'd like to file a complaint or send some positive vibes, leave a comment. And until tomorrow, I'll see you later, crew.